Welcome to Utopia, please make yourself at home. It's the only place on earth where you can bitch and mum. There's something here for everyone to make you feel quite great. Just as long as we've already let it through our gates. This is our dreamland, this is Utopia. Yet another little podcast for you. This is our dreamland, this is Utopia. It's where we discuss the little things and make them better for you. This is our dreamland. This is Utopia, you got a pet peeve, we'll kick it out for you. It's a wonderful and magical and positively colourful, it's our cheeky show, by now you know! It's the Utopia Project. Hello and welcome to the Utopia Project, a cheeky little show where we chew the fat and discuss all those little things in life and decide whether or not they're part of our hypothetical utopia. My name is Chunky T and I'm joined each and every show by the man with more hair in his nose than his crotch, it's Jack Magic. <laughs> Hello. How are we doing mate? Uh, to be fair, it's a bit kind of either either at the minute, Lock- yeah. da- lockdown's not, not treating me well. <laughs> no. no. So. so we thought, oh yeah, we'll do a funny podcast and yeah. see if I can just... Have a bit of happiness yeah. for once. And then just yeah. for you to rip me. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Yeah, and I'm also joined, working tirelessly behind the scenes, is the robot assassin that is Bryn Williams. How are we doing, mate? Yeah. Good boys, good boys. How are we doing? Yeah, not bad. Not bad, mate. Are you uh, a, a, a robot that is an assassin, or are you an assassin of robots? I'm neither. You know, I'm Brynn, I'm producer Brynn. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I'm the first one, I'm the first one. I'm the first before one. Before you cut me off, I hope you all have a good show and I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, thank you very much, Brynn. Right, so... Before you cut me off, he's like, please let me speak. <laughs> yeah. no, turn your mic off, boy. <laughs> he's learned... Back o- in the box, Brynn. <laughs> he's learned over the years of... Uh, well, oh, the year, shall we say, over all our shows and him helping out and being the producer that I just go, no, I've had enough, you're boring. Turn, it- <laughs> turn you off. Um, but yeah, there's a f- couple of things we need to address, Jack. Yes. Uh, first one is why we've been away so long. Yeah. Do you want to take it? The world shit itself. Yeah. Uh, is the short version of it. Obviously, COVID hasn't helped everything. No. Uh, you got COVID. I got COVID. Um, um, survived it. <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm up there. I'm not clinically vulnerable. Yeah. Well, I think I probably should be with the lifestyle that I live. You're not the most unhealthy person I know, but you're up there in the top one. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, obviously I had a kid, so that sort of held everything up. We yep. did the live streams for a bit. Lockdown got the better of us generally and was like, yeah, you know what? Kind of bit here, then everywhere, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, just generally sort of, you know what? We're not enjoying this. Let's yeah, just yeah. take a step back and just survive the bullshit that is 2020. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's all the things that held us up, really. I've like, just become tired yeah. in the last five seconds for yeah. some reason. And it's quite those... early. Like, for those that are aware... in the afternoon, isn't it? Yeah, the ones that are aware of Jack's uh, general tired. It can, come, it can strike at any moment. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I have urged him to get checked out for narcolepsy and uh, bulimia, yeah. but he says he's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm fine. Um, uh, also, that obviously Sharpie started a new job, so it was scheduling and all that sort of yep. stuff as well. Brian, you've been focusing on uh, your YouTube channel and stuff. Um, yeah, but we are back for season two. Um, Sharpie the, won't be in this whole season. The whole season, unfortunately, Sharpie won't be with us. Um, lockdown probably hit him a bit harder than everybody. Yeah, yeah. Struggled with his mental health, so he's just taking a step back to make sure he's right. Yeah. And as a he'll be back next season. He's, though, a, he? he's an advocate of mental health himself. Yeah, yeah. And he, you know, he said he, you know, practice what practicing what he preaches. Yeah, yeah. And just going, you know what? My head's not in the right space for this. I'm gonna go away. Yeah. Give it a rest. Get it sorted. Come and back. Yeah. Hopefully we can carry the, yeah, the torch. There's no point shying away from it. Like I say, it is. It is what it is, isn't yeah. it? Like people have problems. Yeah. And so if you want to message him some support, send it in. Yeah. Um, if you are struggling yourself as well, just to take the show to a serious level for two minutes, if you are struggling yourself. Reach out. Even if yeah. you message our show, we'll chat to you. Yeah. Um, we'll shit, chat to anyone. Shit is getting better, and hopefully, by the time this is aired. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be even we'll better. Be in a much better position. Yeah. Um, so yeah, hang on in there because we're, we're we're getting there. We're beating COVID. Brent. Just quickly on that note, I will make sure that I put a link to like Samar- Samaritans or the phone numbers or whatever in the description for mental yeah. health care support and, stuff, and so everything like that. Help. 
reach out for that. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Yeah, that sounded really. No, that's really. That's great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's great. Sure. That's great. Yeah. No, but it is like you got to look after yourself. And yeah, that's why one of the reasons we wanted to come back. Yeah, we yeah. was going to wait for Sharpie to be okay, but we was like, you know what? The people need Utopia. Yeah, to like, push them over the edge. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, weird, that. Uh, the Utopia Project Season 2 launched in uh, in April. And, uh, and there's a massive suicide influx of suicides. Significantly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. yeah, that's that. Right, Jack, on with the show. Yes. Pet peeves, what we got yeah. for me, mate? My pet peeve is uh, daylight savings time. I think that's what you call it. Ex- explain. Uh, the clock's changing. <coughs> Bullshit. <laughs> right, okay. The whole lot. Bullshit. Right. 27 <laughs> years I lasted thinking that it was something that was necessary. Turns out it's not. No, I don't know. You're right. <laughs> not it's, necessary. It's not, re- it's not required, I no. don't think. I thought it was it... In, the, in the war, I believe. Yeah. That was 50 odd years ago. I think it was a bit more than bit that. Bit more mate. than that, wasn't it? it? Ended in 1945, but <laughs> maths, quick maths. Um, <laughs> uh, I can't even think. It, 1945. 1945. Five years, years, eighty-five years, five years ago. Ninety years. years. Hundred. Fifty, sixty, seventy, <laughs> seventy-five years ago. Yeah. <laughs> 75 we ish years right, ago. Stop saying it numbers. was some years ago. It was ago. a while ago. Yeah. And I felt very embarrassed that none of us actually know how long ago it was. I know it was. It ended in 945, so yeah. uh, that's a point to me. You, for you. I know it's 945, but, but I can't work maths. You're aware our dad, I mean, I've forgotten his age as well, because I need to figure it out. I know he was born in 1962. Yeah. Um, he's nearly 60. He wasn't in the war. I don't know if you. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Was he not? No. Oh. <laughs> so I, I can only assume the war is more. More than 60 years old. Probs. <laughs> right, anyway, yeah. Dead anyway, saving time. Yeah, dead saving time. It's bollocks. Like, I thought it was something to do with, like, planets. Like, <laughs> moving around and shit. And that's just how time works. And you have, to, you have to, yeah, the moon gets closer or the a day lasts not long enough or something. So they had to do it. No. Turns out they do it just because they can. Yeah. Like, a I, government I thought conspiracy. It was like, yeah, I thought it was like something that had to happen. Like I say, with planets and stuff, because like you get leap seconds and leap years and shit, and like eclipses, they happen. They're just <laughs> they're, a thing. They're a thing. Yeah. You can't stop you can't, them. You can't stop it. No. It just happens. <laughs> like, the moon gets a bit close to the sun, you can't be like, wait, wait. Next pull, year. Pull that moon back an hour. Yeah. Pull, that, <laughs> yeah, pull the clocks back an hour, the moon will go back. <laughs> That's how you go back in time. Yeah. It's you don't like, need a time machine, just turn your clock back, and you're yeah. like, I'm, I'm in the past. Yeah. The planets are like the analog clock. I bought a new car and it's got an analog clock on the dashboard. Yeah. But you change the digital clock. That doesn't sound like a new car, mate. No, no, no. no. (laughs) But you change the digital clock that's also on the dashboard and it automatically changes the analog clock. That's pretty fancy. So if you put the clocks back an hour, the planets just go back again. So what do you want to do in Utopia then? Just fucking leave it. (laughs) Okay. Just Just, just leave it be. Just time is a thing. one th- I mean, it's not bothered me, but it's been something that I've, I've noticed over the right. years. I'll tell you, right. What's the time now? Time now is 3.18, right? Yeah. That's the time. Yeah. It doesn't need to be an hour forward or an hour back. No, no um, leaving it. No changing it. No, no, do leave it. Don't change it. <laughs> Just, that's it. That's the time. Yeah. We will continue going for yeah. 24 hours a day. Yeah. And that's it. Because the thing is, like a leap year, that's... We discuss this off, off the show a little yeah, bit, yeah. didn't we? And that's to to account for the fact that a day isn't exactly twenty four hours. So every yeah, yeah. four years we gain a day. Yeah, and we lose. And you're like, yeah, that's that kind of that's stuff. logical. That like, makes like, sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but with the, the thing for me with the uh, savings is, and clearly it bothers you far more than it bothers yeah. me. I've just kind of gone, yeah, whatever. That's that's the way it is. Mm. But I've always thought, right, we get to springtime. We put it forward half an hour, leave it, best of both worlds. Exactly. So, then you're in the middle. Yeah. <coughs> um, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get why it's not. Yeah. yeah. It's, they've done it li- literally because they can. I'm going to move this day, okay. <laughs> why? I just fancy it. Yeah. Um, so I said before, like, when the, the clocks change, like in winter, yeah. the clocks change, and I go to work, and it's dark, and I leave work, and it's dark. Yeah. In the summer, I go to work and it's maybe nearly dark. <laughs> and then I leave work and it's still light for a bit. Why does it matter? Yeah. It doesn't matter. The, the All I do is, is go to work and go home. Don't matter yeah. how light if it anything, is. If anything, just change your opening hours. It'll come out right. Do, you know, what, do you know what always bemused me? What? How the world knew that the clocks had changed. 
Why? Because it seemed to change ever so quick. <laughs> you know, like one day, one day, like I'd go to work, and it'd be like, oh, like I don't know, I finish at half five, so by by five it's dark, and then you get to like nearly to the point where you change the clocks, and you're like, oh, fucking half five, it's still a bit light, boys. It's gonna go down in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, after the weekend, the clocks change, and in the course of two days, now light until nine o'clock. It's a big change, isn't it? <laughs> The world know. It just stays light for much longer. It, like it knows. I think that's because it knows of the that time. the clocks have changed. But I've only just realised it's because time's changed. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-seven years it's taken me to notice that. I love it. Every year it's like all oh, the nights are drawing out, aren't they? Yeah. Well, the days are always oh, lighter for longer. Yeah. yeah. Same as every year. Yeah. Like that's the way and, it works. And nobody knows when it is or which way it goes. <laughs> no. They just muddle through, <clears throat> and then they end up going. Oh, sorry, I'm late. I forgot my bloody clock when, didn't I? <laughs> No, is it spring forward or fall, 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 fall back and spring spring forward and and is is it I mean it's the 26th in it but they're not about moving it that's another thing there's not about moving it this year just because right. they can the clocks change is two, that COVID two, two weeks earlier yeah because I said this this winter's been really shit so we'll change it so the clocks change sooner no it doesn't change the day does it, it the world's change. still fucked <laughs> the state's like <laughs> your brain go yeah, for it yeah can I just say that's idiots being idiots will always be idiots <laughs> yeah. stop yeah. making up shit ideas <laughs> yeah. just leave it you <laughs> fucking morons <laughs> that's like Boris being like right what we're, what we're going to do <coughs> is don't go out and go out go out unless you have to go out but then what we're going to do is rather than changing the clocks for one hour we're going to put the clocks back and we're going to put the clocks back to January <laughs> 20 19 19 and then we will know that COVID is going to come <laughs> yeah <laughs> so we will do this and then it will stop COVID happening no yeah. and we're like that and to be fair it's only just dawned on me really it's a very odd time that they change it yeah Two in the morning. What's, what's that about? I don't know. <laughs> it's like them TikTok videos. You've seen the TikTok videos of the guy describing packaging. Like, what should we put this in? Put it in a glass bottle. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've not seen it? No. It's, the, the, it's just basically they're saying, there's a bloke with a clipboard and he's going, oh, what should we package this in? What packaging should we put that in? It just cuts to a drunk bloke. Like, <laughs> coming up with stupid... We've got, well, we've got strawberries. What should we put them in? Oh, the little plastic thing. <laughs> in a net, <laughs> and then seal it, <laughs> then put it, and they can eat it like that. Yeah, I, I think packaging is maybe a pee for another day. Yeah, well, that, no, <laughs> but that's, that's obviously the, uh, struck a chord. Yeah, yeah, I've, forgotten. It, it, I've gone off completely off topic. I don't know where I was going with yeah. this. Uh, a bit rusty on the first episode, but yeah. Right? yeah. What was he saying? <laughs> Daylight savings time. Yeah, but it's, and it's an odd time to change. Oh it. yeah, two in the morning. <laughs> that was the one I was saying. Jack's yeah, lost the plot. They've gone. So we're going to change the clocks. For absolutely no reason. Um, what should we do at like midnight? Makes sense, doesn't it? Like when uh, at the end of one day, the start of another, go back an hour, or go forward an hour at midnight. So you finish a day, clocks change, new day. <laughs> Two in the morning. <laughs> Sounds legit. Yeah, Two in the morning, please. Two in the morning. <laughs> and they've all gone, okay. <laughs> Why? Because <it> can. <laughs> Makes no um, sense. No, I don't think any of it actually does make sense. It's just like you say, it's one of those things that's Bollocks. always been done, like for yeah. eternity. Everyone's just gone. It's just, just, just what we do. Yeah. Why? Don't, don't question that. No. We just do it. Yeah. Because we're like moving the day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm happy to send. It. What are we doing in Utopia then? Are we just like moving it. No, we don't need to move it at all. No, do we? Just leave just, it. Just leave it as is. This is time. Yeah. Time is time. Whatever the time is now, when you're watching it. That's what time it is. Yeah, simple as that. So, do you want to send it? Oh, Bryn, quickly before yeah, you. Yeah, but uh, is time not just a construct anyway? It's all, Don't it's get, all no. a conspiracy <laughs> no, theory. No. no, is time a real thing? Time. No. Oh, right, mum's well, real. While Bryn has an existential crisis about time and space, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> um, are we sending it? <laughs> send, send it. Send daylight savings times. Fuck you. I've got the right button. That's yeah, a good boy. start. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Um, right, my peeve then. What you got? Um, People, I think it's something that everybody will have an opinion on. Mm. People that are glued to their phone, well, not glued to their phone, but you have a conversation with them and you're halfway through. Uh, for example, right, you you talk to me. Tell me about your day. What did you do today? I uh, so got this morning, I went to work and uh, I was doing stuff at work and then people tried, why, hey, hello? 
Oh, sorry, mate. I was just on my phone because you're really fucking boring. <laughs> obviously, I, I've not got no manners in the fact that I want to listen to you. I'm just going <laughs> to sit and look at my fucking phone halfway through you telling me something. Halfway through a conversation. That's what pisses me off. <laughs> I know. I, I sometimes do that. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Not a lot, but I try not to, but I, can, I tend to drift off. Sometimes. Don't get me wrong. Right. Like, I'm someone... If you was on your phone mm. and I came up to you and talked talking to you this is something that pisses me off in a sort of separate peeve is I'll go oh he's, he's looking at his phone so what I'll do oh you're right Jack if you're still on your phone I'm like, he's, he's you know he's doing whatever he's doing on his phone whether that's important or not is irrelevant you're busy yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean if you were if you were punching or a if home, you used to go if you were oh, busy, Jack and I go oh, two seconds yeah if you were busy punching a homeless bloke I wouldn't interrupt you to talk about the stocks and share market wow. would I yeah. I would go well I would just be like right it's not, I just, it's not something I do in my spare time <laughs> well but <laughs> I'm doing well <laughs> Hey, I offered to take a homeless guy shopping once. He didn't turn up. That's his fault. <laughs> That's a story for another day. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like if you're busy, let get on with it, and then you can come. And then when you go, right, what's up? My missus will be watching this fuming, going, "Well, because I'm terrible for." I'll be on my phone. She'll ask me something. I go, "What?" And she'll tell me, and then but I've I've kind of <laughs> I'm not really the what is like. What isn't an actual response? It's just a, it's a, it's a knee-jerk reaction to her <laughs> yeah. saying something, and I don't listen ninety percent of the time. It's like the, that Tom <laughs> State thing. Is, uh, this is brain the conversation. Uh, we've been circling around here for an hour now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think you should bring it back in. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, uh, yeah, bring it back. What, what should I do? Uh, just, just go ahead and say you're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Brent. Uh, there are kind of two things with that. Number one is make your conversations less fucking boring than what's on your phone. It's your for fault. A start. The, the thing is, for the people who can't see Bryn, um, he thinks this is a personal attack on him because halfway through that, he ironically went on his phone. <laughs> but that's because he's the producer and he's like, I'm not on camera, fuck you guys. I'm doing yeah, this. I'll I've do done this. my bit and give me a shout if you need me. Yeah, go on, Bryn. And the second part was <coughs> if you can see somebody's on the phone doing something, why bother them in the fucking first place? Wow. I'm more important. <laughs> I'm more important. <laughs> in the middle of a conversation that happens, fair enough, yeah. right? That's but my, if my like, you're sat on your phone <clears throat> and then like your missus or your sister or your family or whatever comes up to you and bothers you, it's like, look what I am doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm busy. I'm busy. Yeah. We get Fuck pe- off. We get people at work, right? And I'm not going to name who it is, but they, <clears throat> they, on, they do it all the time. They ring us and I go, oh, hello, you all right? And they go, yep, hold on one second. And then fuck off. Yeah. And has a conversation <laughs> with someone else. But they what? Well, they've rang you. They rang me <laughs> to put you on hold. To go. Hang on a minute. <laughs> and then they'll go off, and you can hear them having the conversation with the other person, and they'll be like, Yeah, what are you say, mate? Nothing. You rang me. <laughs> you've given you you me no information for this conversation yet. <laughs> like that's like me going, Hey, Chunk, how you doing? But, Hang on. But no, but Jack, that is, that is kind of what the, what my my peeve is. The fact yeah, that yeah. Like, right, I'm having a conversation. I think it's maybe a generational thing. Like yeah, yeah. maybe I'm from a generation where I, I'm still quite glued to my phone. But I think because I was I lived a lot of my teenage years without one, so I've kind of that's a social skill that I've followed yeah. through, shall we say? But like it just pisses me off the fact that I'm like well, I'm talking to you. And you're literally saying to me, I don't want to talk to you. I've got something more interesting to do. Well, carry <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <laughs> carry on, and I'll come back when you're finished. Yeah, and then I'll go, right, then I'll finish my end of my sentence, and then, kind of, then there's a, the lag. And then, and then you know they haven't heard you. They haven't listened. <laughs> yeah. Not taking in anything. I, I can't multitask. I'll be on my phone. Like, not, again, with my missus and that, and she's like, you're not fucking listening. I'm like, you can see I'm on my phone. If I'm messaging somebody and having a chat on Facebook, whatever, that's me in a conversation. You don't walk up to someone who's two people physically talking and just go, oh, yeah, I've thought about this. Um, you go, blah, 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 listen to me. You go, right, oh, they're talking, so give yeah. me a second. Or you go, excuse me, when you got a minute? Or, yeah. You know what I mean? But, yeah. Just, you guys trying to work your way into that yeah, conversation. As a by, as a byproduct of that, and again, people will be like, well, you, you take ages reply in chunk. Yeah. And this, that, and the other. And sometimes I do. You know, people have busy lives. I get that. But when people spend, it takes them, Two, one to two weeks to respond to a message to you like just a mundane thing and after a day they've, you can see they've opened it and read it yeah, yeah. and you're like right all I need to know is like are you coming round on Saturday or um, 
have you got one of these I can borrow or some, you know it's just it's just a yeah I have mate or you know, it's yeah, an yeah. easy response and then they you see them and they spend 90% of their time just on the phone like and you're like, you've come to see me. It's a bit like the phone call. Yeah. You've come to see me. And, and then and not then, paid any attention. Yeah, one, if you've got all that time to be on your fucking phone, why didn't you message me? <laughs> <laughs> and two, you're on your phone, don't reply to me. Yeah, and two, you're here to talk to see me. If you didn't want to and you wanted a conversation with other people, go see them. I'm sensing a trend. I think you're boring. <clears throat> Maybe. But people respond to you, though, don't they? Yeah, usually if we shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fair enough. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> you just, just shut up. That's all I get. <laughs> um, I try and say yeah. really interesting things, and they're just like... Yeah, so anyway... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, it just pisses me off. I'm just, I don't know how to do it in Utopia. Maybe like it's like a one conversation at a time. Yeah, and that, that's you can't physically look at your phone. Don't get me wrong; if you're gonna check it or you, you know, buzzed off, I'm, I've done that. But like, I, I, you know, where I've been like, I'm chatting, and I just sort of look at the notification. Or thing. how about is that anything important that I need to kind of go? Sorry a minute, just gives a sec. I'll reply yeah. to this. Or how about in Utopia, people just know general manners? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's something that's been a bit lost over the years and, and whatnot. And yeah, I'm like hold on a minute. You're re- responding to online friends yeah. quicker than you're responding to your real The friend. person that stood in front of you. Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just fucking frustrating, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Would you agree? Bin it. Yeah. Can you chuck it? You Send it? it. Fuck it. Oh, just a little burp there. That's gone. Right. That's all the pet peeves done. Yes. Now it's time to cross over to the Utopia newsroom. Sick. Hello and welcome to the Utopian Press Newsroom. The headlines this week, Snow White has revealed on Twitter that there is in fact an eighth dwarf that she's been kept in, keeping in her basement. A man in Ireland has knitted the world's biggest jumper vest, measuring it at a whoppering 90 feet long. And Hanford Parish Council have revealed that in fact Jackie Weaver did have authority. More on that later, but over to Jack with the traffic and travel. Thank you, Chunk. Uh Traffic is quite slow on the M60 currently as some joker has released nine banana skins on the road and everyone's skidding all over the place. Over to Bryn with the entertainment. Cheers, guys. Um, In today's entertainment news, we just have one headline. The Utopia Project movie is going to be directed by Quentin Tarantino. It's going to star Jonah Hill as Chunk, Michael B. Jordan as Sharpie, uh, I, myself, am going to be played by Henry Golden, and, funnily enough... Jack kind of is going to be played by Helen Mirren. What the fuck is going on? At least you'll look a little bit more attractive. How dare you? <laughs> Thanks for that, Bryn. <laughs> um, right, so now it's time for Ridiculous News, I believe. Not working. What? I press Ridiculous News. You press Ridiculous News, <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> Ridiculous News. Let's stop all this bullshit. Let's go over to Ridiculous News. (laughs) The first episode (laughs) has gone horribly wrong. (laughs) Right, roll Ridiculous News. It's the Ridiculous News. It's stupid and it's been in the news. Old stories from around the world. They're here for us to abuse. Zeros, heroes, and we don't We've got few. It's the ridiculous news. Whammy! Today on Ridiculous News. Escaped cow charges into hospital waiting room and attacks patients. What? Yes, you heard. Okay. (laughs) An escaped cow has charged into a hospital waiting room and started attacking people. Why? Uh... It ran inside the hospital and attacked patients, knocked over chairs and caused general panic. (laughs) So, how how did that get in a hospital? Uh, Well, CCTV from the waiting room shows that the animal got inside and started running around like a bull in a china shop on February 13th. 
Uh, a group of people inside ran into a corner for safety but were followed by the cow that then slammed into them. Um, then in the video, the cow falls several times, uh, allowing some patients to escape, <laughs> but leaves in an inj- uh, leaves an injured woman trapped on the floor as two men manage to grab the animal's lead and pull it away. Right, okay. Yeah. So why, why was the cow there in the first place? Oh, no, I just fancied turning up. <laughs> okay, just yeah. went, all right, I've had enough on the farm. I'm off to hospital. I'm off to hospital. Just to smash later. the place up. <laughs> Probs. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, not much more to, to talk about with that, is there? It's just... I think that's about it. Yeah. Um, it is ridiculous news, and it's news. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there, there have been no reports of police opening an investigation. So, okay. th- they're not bothered. Okay. Right, so we usually decide, hero th- or zero. I don't think they're going to press charges. No. Uh, I think hero. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just like, I mean, system, fuck the establishment. Yeah, and like, it makes your day more interesting, doesn't it? I went up hospital, and you never guess who turned up. A fucking bull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if he had a uh, problem with his, with his throat or something. <laughs> needed looking at. Yeah. But uh, maybe because somebody's put a ring in his nose. Yeah. Um, but no, S- charged in, smashed the place up. Apparently there was no uh, give a fuck. no real bad injuries, uh, but uh, apart from just minor stuff. But uh, yeah, all good. Okay, all good. So hero. <coughs> so we're welcoming. Sorry, to- I joked. What are you doing that for, mate? <coughs> I don't know. <coughs> so I fancied it. Welcoming in. <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? I think I might be dying. <laughs> So we're welcoming it into Utopia. Yeah. Okay. The ball that ran into the hospital. The ball that ran into the hospital. Yeah, hey, boy. You know it. <laughs> well, that was ridiculous news. Yeah. Thank you very much from all of us in the studio. Jack, what did I say thank you? Thank you. Bryn, over on the satellite. Hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's the news. Back to you in the studio. It's time for Top 11 Is it higher or lower? It's time for Top 11 Is it a bow or a shower? It's time for Top 11 You think you're in the know? It's time for Top 11 Let's go! Yeah. Right, Top 11 time boys! That's my favourite theme tune. It is a good theme tune, isn't it? It's a banger. It? Yeah, uh, obviously, Bren, you're joining us for the Game Zone and Thunder Dome and all that sort of stuff. I'm at the big boys' table. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Get back in the corner! <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> blow it. <laughs> Otherwise, we will not see any of you in Season 3, all right? You don't see enough of me anyway. You need more. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys, Top 11. Uh, yes. What we're doing, for those who haven't watched or listened before, what we do with Top 11, we select a, like a category or something like that, the Top 11 of something. Um, the boys will pull... The, the items or people or whatever out of the hat that would be the starting point it's literally they've got to guess if the next one is higher or lower on that list first one to win to, it's like five or more points I think is the I way it so, works yeah. um, generally what we do in Utopia is we sort of decide whether they're in or out of Utopia I don't think we're going to bother doing that anymore <coughs> I think the general consensus is that the game zone is just like Utopia TV essentially yep. so it's just a yeah. bit where we're not really discussing anything to do with Utopia just having a bit of a lol. It's a bit of something doing it. Yeah, right. Boys, this week uh, we are doing highest paid actors of 2020. Ooh. You picked this just for me, didn't you? Um, I kind of, yeah. I thought it might <laughs> put you a bit of an advantage because I kind of want you to come along and then just yeah. beat Jack because that would be, be good. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's from usatoday.com. Um, right. Do you want to keep your score? Uh, yes, I will be keeping score. Um, boys, do you want to um, pull the, the starting point out of the hat? Yeah. Go on. You do it, Brent. You're the guest. You sure? Yeah, yeah. You bring it. Right. We have Akshay Kumar. Ooh. Well, I'm kind of glad that he's come up first because I don't know who that is. Is he's on the a list? Bollywood dude. Is he? Maybe, yes. A Bollywood dude. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you yeah. call him? Um, I don't know that guy, but that's yeah. He's, he's a starting point then. What right. his highest paid actors? Yes. Right. This that's is paid kind of... actors, not like their net worth. Do you know what I mean? Or to be like fair, that. this kind of um, has changed my mindset because I thought it was just going to be Americans or British. Not no, like no. Uh, I think nearly all of them are American. Oh. Um, 
smash it then. But yeah. Um, so who wants to go first, boys? Uh, you pick a starting point. I'll go first. Yep. Yeah. Banger. You got it. Yep. <clears throat> first one is Sophia Vergara, famous for Modern Family. Yep. Sure. Uh, she's the big boob Brazilian. Is she Brazilian? Oh, or yeah, the like, she trophy is. wife or whatever she yeah, was. Uh, yeah, 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 she's... Um, she's married to uh, Joe Manganero, or whatever his uh, name Joe is. Joe Manganero. Yeah, that's what that's it is. Yeah. Right. They're an attractive couple. Mm. Very attractive He's couple. He's a beast. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, I would sleep with both of them. So well. anyway, moving on. Higher or lower uh, than Ash... Ash a, a, sorry if I murder this name. Akshay Kumar. Sorry. Mm. I have no idea. Lower. Lower? Mm. Fucking hell. Correct. Sick. Can you hear the soundboard all right? Is that quite... Yeah, it's quite quiet, yeah, but the yeah, sound bed quiet, is quite loud. So. Yeah. I'll, uh, yeah. Is that a bit better for that's you? That's better, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, boys, uh, that's one point to Jack then. Sick. That was a, a stray old punt as well. Bastard. Yeah, <laughs> Bryn, do you want to pull out the next we'll one, go, mate? Bryn. Yep. I'll put it there. Should be Higher or lower than Sophia Vergara? We have... Oh, Mark Wahl- Wahlberg, if you can see that. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg. Playing up a little bit. Mark Wahlberg, higher or lower than Sofia Vergara? Right, now this is a kind of a tough one because she's always on TV. She's always getting paid, whereas Mark Wahlberg kind of does films, Stints if that makes of sense. Films, yeah. yeah so, and he does big films. But when he does films, for example. he mm. does huge This is obviously films. 2020, so I don't know whether it's like... 19. Oh, is it just of this year? Uh, yeah, well, so I don't, year. I don't know if it'll be like 19 to 20 financial year or whatever. Because mm. he had Spencer Confidential on Netflix last year, mm. so that was pretty big. I would say higher. You'd say higher? I would say that's common you sense. Ah, correct. Yeah. Banger, one each. He's always yeah. going to be higher, won't he? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, I'll pick one out ready. I'll just say as well, the, the, the lowest person on this list, their pay... From the year was forty million. Yeah. That's the lowest paid actor yeah. on this list. I can imagine that. Holy shit! Forty million. Like, oh, forty shit. four oh, zero. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, f- um, it's dollars, by the way. But like, still. Oh yeah, because the <laughs> fucking transfer rate's not. Oh, <laughs> I paid forty million dollars. I only worked out of <coughs> three quid. Oh right. Some could say a. Uh, Controversial one. Mr. Benjamin Affleck. Best Batman. <laughs> I've not seen him as Batman, the actually. Um, Didn't he play Daredevil? Yes. I used to have watched yeah. that on VHS. It was sick. <laughs> mad mad it's been sick. Quite a lot. Oh, you've read VHS. Right, so he's, is he sick. higher or lower than Mark Wilberg? I'm going to say lower. Could you purely. There's been be- a lot of the old, uh, you know, DC stuff where he's Batman. I was there Recently. this year. Yeah. I don't know when the years are, but it's been a big part of that, hasn't he? Well, they, yeah. Don't forget they get paid for contracts. They're not just one off yeah. all yeah. the time. I'm going to say time. lower than Wahlberg. Really? Yeah. Locking it in? Yeah. S- definitely locking it in? Yeah. Correct. Oh, I'm yeah. oh, mad. I would have I'm said good. Ben Affleck would have been mad. Come at me, Brent. Right. Come at me, Brent. <laughs> Bron? <laughs> oh. Who's this? Ooh. Lynn Manuel oh, yeah. Miranda. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. Why is that coming up as green? It's weird, I don't know, because it? it's white. It's probably reflecting yeah. the light or something. Green screen's knackering that If up. not, I'll put a text yeah. thing at the bottom. Yeah. He is the A L A X E N D E R. He is Lynn Manuel. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Spell it. Close enough. <laughs> but yeah, Hamilton, mate. I'm all about that. I don't, I've never actually fully watched it in its entirety. But my, my missus and Litland hammer it. Oh. Soundtrack. I know most of the words to the soundtrack. I know bits and bobs of the film. I don't really know what happens, yeah. though. <laughs> to be totally honest. My name is Hella Dander Flinkle Flunk. <laughs> yeah. I like musicals. I'm not a huge musical person, but I like a lot of them, like Great Show. Oh, mate. I have not seen it yet. Watch it. Yeah. It's fucking brilliant. It I have really seen good. Moana, which he did the music for, did he not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, I, so, it was only, it was only uh, after Mo- watching the, Hamilton. The actress who plays Moana is in Hamilton as well. Oh, is she? Yeah, I, be- I believe... I don't know. Yeah. I can't remember which one. So, higher or lower than Ben Affleck? Yeah. 
Um, oh, this is a tough one because he's Ben Affleck's Batman stuff was a little bit further back, like 2016, 2017. Whereas with him, all of his stuff is kind of like very recent, recent. very recent. But how much has he got paid? For yeah, it? because musicals aren't really paid as much as like superheroes. I don't know. He's been on like Broadway and shit. But still, and, it's, and on, and gets on paid Disney, less. he's done loads of stuff. Yeah, but you and with remember. like. Like I say, with like Moana and loads and loads yeah, of stuff like that. Yeah, but he was not a star character in that. He no, just but, wrote the music. but there is yeah. loads of. He's still getting paid for it, isn't he? Yeah. And there's, just, there's, it was only after watching Hamilton that I noticed there's loads and loads of stuff that he is involved with heavily that I never realised he was in. I don't, know whether, I don't know whether this is just pay for being an actor or yeah. whether it's paid for all the stuff he does. Yeah, how, yeah, he's an actor and he got paid this much total. I just don't yeah. think theatre stuff, even though he's got Disney, mm. the Disney Plus deal kind he's, of thing, he's not he actually, doesn't he get doesn't, actually paid as He's much. not actually doing the, the Broadway show anymore. They've mm. reunited the original cast yeah. to do the Disney one. Yeah, yeah. And, and, he, so and he might there's, not there's be. loads of different ones. There's Broadway and New, uh, not New York. But there's loads of different states that do it as well. They've yeah. all got different casts, but it's yeah. the same yeah. musical. Right, so, right. Brent, let's get on lower. with it. <laughs> yeah. um, lower. I think he's lower? Locking yeah. it in? Yeah, lock it in. Correct. Nailing it, boys. Two all. Yeah, next, next one. Oh, just careful leaning on Toby, wobbling the cameras. Sorry, mate. Oh, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. Higher or lower than Lin Manuel and Miranda? Uh, it's difficult not knowing where they, like, like properly seeing yeah. where they are on the list. Like for me, I'm like, oh well, yeah, it makes this makes sense. Like looking at uh, and my gut says higher, but I don't. I'm trying to think what he's done this year. He's well, got another year. film coming out this year as well, Free Guy, but it's not into 20 in it. So. Yeah, um, I'm gonna say higher. I say don't higher. think he's done as much, but I think he got paid more for what yeah. he did do. Locking it in. Yes. Definitely locking it in. Yes. Correct. Yeah, boy. Nice. Right. It's three, two to Jack. Keeping it level. Oh, Brent. this is gonna be tight. Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson. The Rock Johnson. Oh, oh higher higher or lower. Dwayne Johnson looks like the Rock. He does a lot, doesn't he? Does, he? Yeah. Doesn't he? he must have a brother or something. <laughs> um. Right now, I'm gonna say this that might piss a lot of film fans off, but I would argue that he is the highest grossing film star of the last so long oh, he's yeah. probably he the a biggest lot of box films, he's been like Fast and Furious he's in, it, he's in everything like if it's an action film he's in it yeah. but the reason I think he may be a little bit higher up than Ryan Reynolds is because a lot of Ryan Reynolds stuff during like 1920 he didn't really have that much out no. you know what I mean whereas The Rock had I thought you meant the year 1920 I was like <laughs> yeah, he wasn't alive 1920 I talk in football speak I'm so used to that <laughs> but anyway um, he had Jumanji he's had uh Hobbs and Shaw, yeah, all of that. I just think he's very much. And he looks really he well for an hundred-year-old bloke. Ryan Reynolds, he? yes, locking it in. Yes, you are correct. I'm just, I'm just saying, the Rock looks really good for a hundred-year-old bloke, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> That's what steroids will get you. <laughs> yeah. Is that Ooh, controversial? controversial. <laughs> Don't sue us. Um, here comes the subpoena. Yeah, yep. um, Jack. Next one, mate. You're three, both three for three. What we got? I'll be so gutted if he beats me. Oh, fucking hell. Vin Diesel. Ooh. Ooh. That's tight lower as than well. Uh, right. I'm going to say lower. Yeah. For 20, because I think there's maybe only one of the Fast and Furiouses that he was in mm. this year. That's about all I know of that he's been in. Um... He's not really in anything else, is he? Like he did like, well, what stuff I like was going to say. Is, yeah, yeah, the Rock's been in. Well, he did like Riddick and stuff, didn't he? That and is that his good. only thing that he really does. The Rock yeah. has got so many fingers in so many different parts. That's what I mean. Like, the Rock, the Rock is in. He can smell uh, what like he, recently. He can smell what he's cooking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's always around my Bacon, house. Bacon usually. Um, yeah. Like he's been in the Fast and Furiouses and then the Hobbs and Shaw saga as well, and like your Moanas and your stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna say lower. Say so lower than mm. who was it before Dwayne Johnson? Dwayne yeah. the Rock Johnson. Right, you locking it in? Correct. Fucking hell. Nailing it. 
I don't think we got one wrong yet, are we? No. No, but there will come a time and it'll probably end yeah. up being me that's not thinking. Oh. Jackatha Chan. Oh, yes, boy. Higher or lower than um, Vin Diesel? He's obviously got a lot more legacy stuff. Like, a lot of his stuff is very it's classic, older. Isn't it? Yeah. And the money's only gone up recently, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, we're only starting getting big bunk, big bucks in the age of Star Wars, Marvel, DC, all that type yeah. of stuff. And somebody like Vin Diesel that's in everything, and he runs the whole of Fast and Furious, and they make shitloads of money every single year. Yeah. It would make more sense, kind of guesstimate it, that he would be lower. Yeah. Jackie Chan would be lower than Vin Diesel, in my opinion. I'd agree but, with that. But you're not yes. sure if that's right. I'm I would not say sure if that's right. Yeah. Are say, we ever sure if any yeah. of these are right? Yeah. I would say he's a bigger star and a more long term. Yeah. But in the time scale, I would say he's about... And I just think the money's gone up so out much. Of it. Yeah. So what are you saying, lower? Lower. You are... Correct. Oh, oh my nailing god. Nailing it. I'll well, go to a like tiebreaker here, Bryn. Yeah, Jacket, um, it, The trouble is, I didn't prepare one. <laughs> oh. So they might have to be a draw. <laughs> Roll, paper, scissors. Scissors. Also controversial. Adam Sandler. Sandler. Hasn't made a good film since the 90s. Yeah. High or lower than Jackie Chan? He's. Oh god, that's hard. Uh, I'm going to say higher. You say higher? Yeah. Mm, that's, that's a tight one. Just because of the time scale thing, I still think Jackie Chan's like fizzling out. He's probably going to die soon, isn't he? Uh, we're lower locking it in. What did I say? Higher. Yeah. Higher. You don't want to change your mind. Yeah. No, you don't give him the opportunity. Are you sure you don't want to change your <laughs> mind? I'm going higher. You sure? Yeah. Positive. Yeah. Locking it in. Locking it in. 100%. Locking it in. Wanna, you want to win. Golden balls. You Come wanna on. Win, don't you? Yeah. You sure you're locking it in? Yeah. Correct. Oh yes, my boy. days! Right. Uh, the trouble is, I think that this one is left. Brinnell will just go bang. Is that? And oh yeah. <laughs> will Smith. What oh, kind yeah, of question boy. is that? <coughs> higher or lower than Adam Sandler? He's well, got did, to what, be higher. What did he only did? What? Aladdin? Gemini Man. And Aladdin. Gemini Man. Adam Sandler has got a lot of films out there that he's probably still getting paid for. Yeah. yeah but also, but also, 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 Adam. Bad Sa boys. Ad no, but also, Ad it's this year though, isn't it? Yeah, See, but Bad Boys came out in 2020. Bad Boys 3 came out in 2020. Gemini Man was 2019. Aladdin was 2019. I suppose, yeah. And they all but, made big money. Well, Gemini Man didn't really do much, but no. the other two. But the did thing is, like money. people like Adam Sandler, they've got loads of films out that you don't realise they've got out. I find it's just all shit you find on Plus, Netflix. I do think we're mm. ignoring the big thing, which is Aladdin's a Disney property. They pay fucking ginormous yeah. sums. I would say higher. Mm, you sure? Yeah, I've just got to go. With sure. It. Yeah, if I lose, I lose. Yes. You're correct. Oh, fucking for hell. Christ's yeah. sake! So, Good yeah. game, Brin. Yeah, oh, it's, it, it's actually a tie. <laughs> I haven't prepared a tiebreaker because I forgot that's that's what we did. Rock paper scissors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rock paper scissors you for it? <laughs> nah, I can't be asked. <laughs> um, right. Do you, want, do you want the full list then? And how much yeah, yeah, go on. Right, yeah. at 11 is Jackie Chan with $40 million. Above that Indian Akshay Duda bloke. Above this guy. He's, no, he's, he's, he's below him. No, but that's what I mean. Below yeah, this yeah. guy. He's, this guy is above him. Yeah. That's mad. But right. Bollywood pays so, this big money And number 10 is Adam Sandler with $41 million. Yeah. Number 9, the only female on the list, Sophia Vergara with $43 million, wow. Which is actually like, without getting too serious... Probably something that needs to be looked into, the fact there's <laughs> yeah. only one woman in this yeah. list. Um, eight is Will Smith, 44.5 million. Number seven is Lin Manuel Miranda with 45.5 million. Um, number six is Akshay Kumar at 48.5 million. Vin Diesel at number five with 54 million. Ben Affleck. Ben, ben Affleck. Ben, 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 Batman. Just say Batman. Ben Affleck. Ben. Batman at number four <laughs> with 55 million. I'm Batman. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg at number three with 58 million. And this is where it jumps. Number two is Ryan Reynolds with 71.5 yeah, million. Shit. And again, that. number one, Dwayne The Rock Johnson at 87.5 million. That was his Fuck year's me. wages. It's... I, I totally agree. It's all blown out of proportion. There should be more women on that list for definitely. Yeah. 
it's just one of those things. I, I'm surprised ScarJo isn't on there. ScarJo Johansson yeah. for Marvel. All that Marvel <clears throat> stuff. Yeah. But because it is only 1920, would it be out with just that Endgame? Yeah. She wasn't in it. I think if Black Widow had come out last year, maybe she would have been a little bit higher yeah. on that list. But yeah, still, no. yeah. Happy That's with that, boys? crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Living the dream? Yeah, living the dream. Right, shall we cross? I'm going to class that as a win. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got there first. Yeah, right. Let's cross <laughs> ourselves over to the Thunderdome. Nice. Right, boys. Nice on the dome, we are doing. Mm, 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 mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, no. So, actually, I'll, I'll explain to the listeners and viewers what we do. Uh, on the dome, I give the boys a category. They bring a celebrity or character from that category. And we pit them against the, each other in a top Trump style battle. Um, one can enter the gates of the Utopia. The other will be cast into the vo- U- Utopian volcano, never to be seen again. Into the hell. Obviously, if they are people that can be brought in a different category, they cannot be brought back to the Thunderdome. So, this week, boys, we're doing the best witch or wizard. I always say the best, but the thing is with this game, it's about being clever, isn't it? And not yeah. going like... So, like, say if it was the best, I don't know, I can't think of a thing, but best superhero. <laughs> you don't go straight in with your Iron Man, your Captain America, or anything like that. Mm. You go at a, a level that, if you do lose, it's kind of okay to mm. for them to not get in. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. this week, boys, we're doing Best Witch or Wizard. Who Sick. would like to go first? I think ladies first. Off you go, Brent. What? <laughs> I've never been called a lady. I feel special. I feel special. <laughs> Yeah, I'm right. happy to do it. Yeah, so you get, I think it's about 1 minute 40, something like that, yeah, on the time like of bed. That. Right, are you ready, buddy? Yep. Your time starts now. This person made her debut in Marvel Comics back in March 1964, where she was created by the late but great parent of Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. This magical being was born in either Serbia or Sokovia, depending on the interpretation, where she was blessed with powers such as energy manipulation, control over different magical energies, and the ability to manipulate both reality and probability. She's also a Nexus being, which means she's exactly the same person with the same powers and personality across the vast multiverse in Marvel Comics. Along her story journey, she's been both villain and hero, and has been part of many famous teams such as the Avengers, the Brotherhood of Mutants, who are the arch rivals of the X-Men, the Defenders, and the A-Force, among many others. However, she's most famous for being part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, where she's played by Elizabeth Olsen, who's very fit, uh, across five different films, with her most recent appearance being in the recently finished, highly acclaimed Disney Plus show, WandaVision. She's the daughter of the villainous Magneto, sister to Quicksilver, mother to Wiccan, and Speed, (laughs) and most famously, wife slash life partner to the Vision. I'm of course talking about Wanda Maximoff, a.k.a. The Scarlet Witch! Yeah! Nice. Can you play the, the, uh, the bottom one? The dead, 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 did that. There we go. Sorry, mate. For a bit yeah. of dramatic effect. First um, one <laughs> you know I didn't realise uh, she was Magneto's daughter. It depends on the interpretation. interpretation. She's not in the MCU. She right. might, we don't know that yet. She could yeah. be eventually. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's mad. Yeah, I, I'm... I'm Scarlet Witch is up I'm there. I'm down for it, and she's tasty. Yeah. Yeah. And then we probably after the comments about there's not enough women in Hollywood and all that. Yeah. Doing the, the feminist thing. Maybe should not comment on just her looks. Maybe. But no. <laughs> no. But look at what I put in there. Yeah. Above, I, nothing I about looks. Yeah. I know. All I know. about powers. I did, I did yeah. like in. Uh, I'm assuming you've both seen WandaVision. Yes. Yeah. And um, by the time this has been out. Spoiler warning. I'm going to say spoiler warning. By the yeah. time this has been out, if you haven't I'll, seen it already. You fucking should have. Yeah. Um, um, also, just as a slight little tidbit, um, my sister-in-law, for ages, thought it was called One Division. Um, oh. <laughs> and couldn't find it on any streaming apps. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> it's the oh, One wow. Division. <laughs> Is it like One Direction, but a superhero? Yeah. yeah, go on. Also, um, if you've seen the photos of Blue uh, Vision... They will haunt your dreams. Yeah. yeah. They will very much. But no, your she dreams. like her and Vision make a great pairing. Yeah. Um, and like I think her powers are sick. Like especially when she, uh, she's going up. Spoiler alert. When she's going up against obviously Agatha, wh- whoever all along Agatha. Agatha is. Yeah. Um, and she's like, oh, I'm stealing your powers. And she's like, not for long, motherfucker. And, <laughs> and that suit, them back, that she? yeah. suit is That's amazing. fucking sick. Yeah. 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 Do you think you got what it takes to beat it, then, Jack? 
No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. No confident, mate. No, I thought not you would have gone with this. I, I mean, I like this dude, obvious. but I never thought of like Scarlet Witch or anything like that. Yeah. The clue's in the name. Really, yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I didn't think of anything. I was like, they're superheroes, not witches go, and wizards. To, do you think you might be sacrificing a big, big leaguer? Probs. Uh. Mm. I mean, I don't know. I think he's a decent guy. Should we go for it and then we'll discuss afterwards? Yeah, yeah go I'd on, go mate. for it. And it, I mean, in my honest opinion, I'd just boot this dude out. Go for her. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Right, your time starts now. He's from a race called the Maya, who are spirits that can change forms. They each had different abilities. He was known for manipulating fire, creating smoke, casting light, telekinesis, and telepathy. 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 <laughs> uh, he was considered considered the wisest of the Maya. Along with four other, he was sent to Middle Earth to help its fight against the forces of evil. For this, all five of the Maya took human forms. When he found he had been chosen to go to Middle Earth, he originally didn't want to go because he was afraid of Sauron. His original name is Olorin. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> There's a like an umlaut thing. Uh, he was renamed by the ancient men of Middle Earth. His name translates from Old Manish into Elf of the Wand, referring <laughs> to the cane he always walked with. The entire fight with the Balrog from bridge until the demi- uh, from the bridge until the struggling? demise of the Balrog lasted for ten days. When he died fighting the Balrog. He was sent back 20 days later to take the place of Sauron, who had been corrupted. Because he is immortal, there is no way to say how old he is, but his spirit was possibly around since the beginning of time. This is probably why he's so wise. <laughs> uh, just like Sauron was the embodiment of evil, he was the embodiment of God. 20 seconds left. He never arrives late, nor does he arrive early. He arrives precisely when he needs to. It is, of course, Gandalf! <laughs> the Grand. Good timing as well, that, wasn't it? That was actually pretty good. Yeah, um, out of practice with the uh, the pitches on these. Yeah, I haven't read it. Uh, Br- read Brin, for it. Uh, it's the first one he's ever done, and, you know, uh, it's pretty good. For you, you've I done... don't read good, all right? <laughs> you struggled with English. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is, he did this, and he did this, and yeah. he did this. Um... Gandalf's up there. He's, he's got big You league. shall not pass! Ironically, in a weird, like, full circle thing, um, he plays Magneto, which is Scarlet Witch's dad. Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Um, and he makes ships out of smoke. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, my bugger. <laughs> um, I'm not bothered about all this other trickery. I mean, make, me I mean, a, make me a boat! <laughs> Scarlet Witch can create a whole neighbourhood controlled by herself and a full... Um, and she was it change her, reality? Yeah, a change reality. Was it her, though? Gandalf, mate. Or was he it wins because he makes a smoke ship. <laughs> <laughs> smoke ship. <laughs> um, thoughts? Because I've got to decide, because we're recording the whole season, we can't put it out to yeah. the public, so I've got to decide. Yeah. This this is kind of a tough one for me, because I like them both. Honestly, if it was me, I'd go Scarlet Witch. I think Scarlet Witch. Yeah. We've, we've had a bit of discussion, haven't we? I mean, Gandalf, Gal- Gandalf's cool. Like you could sit and chill with him, and you like you go, oh, "What are you doing tonight, mate?" I'm some off-road Gandalf. <laughs> he's got the he's got the he's boat a fucking stuff. Fucking stoner, in. though, he's isn't got he? The boat stuff. He again. is a stoner, isn't he? Yeah. He's <laughs> just, you go and you open the door like Gandalf, who just like got some brownies. <laughs> she is the most recent one as well. There's that plus the fact, like you say, you want the feminine inclusion. Thing. Yeah, it is I'm nice to have a that. woman because uh, the, 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 with you, Brent, you're one of the, the few people that have brought. A woman, excuse me. Yeah. Um. Whereas uh, you and Sharpie seem to have a, a, a habit of like, right, what about this? And you're like, this, this white bloke, <laughs> <laughs> it's white ma- white male. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I yeah. don't mean to be. It's no, just yeah, whoever I mean, first yeah. pops into my head. Um. But yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. I think. I, I think I, honestly, I, I would succumb to. It's sad to see Scarlet Scarlet go, but can I, do you wanna fire him into Mount Doom? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if a shotgun would do it, but I mean. No. 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 You're putting him out of his misery. Just shoot Gandalf. Well, too late. <laughs> oh, oh, well, it's us, mate. <laughs> um, I shot him. And then, would you like to welcome in with the bugle a uh, the Scarlet Witch? Welcome to Utopia, the Scarlet Witch. Also, I feel like Gandalf would just be Gandalf would just be fucking 
just chonging it in his little hut with Shack. the mini people, wouldn't he? Yeah. Whereas Scarlet Witch would actually get shit done. Yeah. Like you, there's a there's an attack from the forces of evil. Someone get Gandalf quick, and he's like, I'm there in a minute. <laughs> Scarlet Witch is like, I've already killed him, mate. Mm. Don't worry about it. I, all sorted. Yeah, I'm up with that. Bang on. That's the end of the show, boys. Wow. Yeah. Another first one bites one the dust. On screen. Yeah. Better bum. 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 No, technically not the first one you've been on screen. screen you've been but on, like, yeah, on yeah. screen, like without in a suit and yeah. a blazer and all yeah. that. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. So yeah, it's nice. Wicked. Good. Uh, all, good all good in the hood. Yeah, getting loosey goosey, get back into it. Yeah, right. So, I'll, do you want me to do the sign offs and everything? Yeah, go on. Right. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching, as usual. Um, make sure you come back next week for the next episode. Um, if you watch, if you're not already watching on YouTube, go check us out on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and all that. Ring the bell uh, for notifications and whatnot. We really appreciate it. it. Really does help. Listen on Apple Podcasts. Don't forget to give us a review and anywhere that you can give us a review or a recommendation, do so. Don't forget to follow us on the socials, Instagram, Facebook. We don't, we have a Twitter, but we're not really that active, so don't mm-hmm. worry about that one. Um, but yeah, check us out. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, tell your friends, tell your mum. Yeah. Uh, Has that covered everything? Yeah, also, make sure you listen to all of the episodes of this season, because I'm going to do a sneaky competition. Oh, are you? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get some. Send us a word at some point. Ah. Send us the word and get a prize. Oh, sneaky, What's sneaky, the Jack prize, Jack? Jack? I'm not going to tell him what it is or where it is or when it's going to happen. You're going to have to just listen to it all <laughs> and then you'll hear about the competition. Yeah. And those that have heard about the competition, don't tell anybody. But tell everybody to watch. Yeah, but tell your mates to watch it because <laughs> yeah. there's a competition in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And uh, can I like make my last little pitch thing? Oh, are you going to... Big up your fucking yeah, I've show. Yeah, Go on then, quickly That's then. what I'm here for. Go on then, quickly. <sighs> uh, just quickly, uh, check out Brim Williams' YouTube channel. I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, TV, react, uh, TV reactions, TV shows, all that stuff. I do basically anything entertainment-wise. So if you want to check that out, it's just Brim Williams. I'm at 60 subs. Try and get me to 100 if, if you'd like. It'd be nice. Yeah. It would be nice. If you'd but, like. Yeah, please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Please, sir. Yeah, sweet. Right, that's all done then. Yeah. Thank you very much. See you next time. We'll see you next week. Yeah. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. We are rusty. Why are we rusty? That's not right. I say, I've been Chunky T. Thank you oh, very yeah. much for watching. That's the thing, isn't Jack. it? Jack. I've been me. Bye. Now, Bryn. And I've been producer Bryn, and I hope you all have a lovely smashing day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. Adios. Welcome to Utopia. Please make yourself at home. It's the only place on earth where you can bitch and mum. There's something here for everyone to make you feel quite great. Just as long as we've already let it through our gates. This is our dreamland. This is Utopia, yet another...